Hi, in this video I'll show you how to create a funnel chart with the default funnel chart feature in Excel. So this is probably only available if you got Office 365 or off, uh, Excel 2019. Uh, this new funnel chart capability is only available in those as far as I know. Now there's other videos that uh, I can have that show you how to create a funnel chart if you don't have Office 365 or Office 2019 and I'll put a link in the description below. But this is actually pretty easy to create if you've got those versions of Office that allow you to do it. So let's delete this. I'm going to delete that. If you're familiar with sales funnels, let's say that you have a thousand leads from some kind of a marketing campaign. Maybe it's an email campaign or it's a mail campaign. And out of those out of those uh, 1,000 or 10,000 in this case, maybe you have 1,000 sure leads and 7, 000, 700 turn into uh, people who actually uh, submit a click or they uh, send their email in and express interest. And uh, out of that, maybe 500 actually talk to somebody and out of that, maybe 200 actually buy a product. So this is something that you can create pretty easily in um, the most recent versions of Excel. All you need to do is create this small table, your two column table of your funnel, your largest to smallest. And if you don't have largest to smallest, you probably need to sort it in descending order. Go to insert and under the charts group, go to our waterfall or go to this particular icon and click your funnel. And it's actually pretty easy and that's all you need to do. And there are some styles that you can use. There, there's, a, there's these default styles that you can use for it. And you can also click the drop down to show you some more, but there's not that many. You also have the option of changing the default colors to that, that, or some monochrom monochromatic colors. And you'll notice that even though you change the colors, they are for, they change it for all the funnel um, objects here or all the different bars here. And there is a way to change it for each individual one where you can change the color. But let's go into what you can do here. This is not really too much. This is probably something Microsoft introduced. But if you wanted to change the colors here, what you can do actually, you can select each one. You have to select each bar. So I selected that. The other ones are kind of grayed out. And I'll go to home and change the fill color. Let's say that one gets orange. Click that one. The next one, maybe this one gets uh, blue. Click that one. And now that, oops, I selected a label. Click that one. And maybe that one gets green. Oops, Control Z to undo that. Let's select this again. That gets green. And let's select another one. Let's keep that one at blue. And let's make this bottom one, I don't know, we'll make it yellow or this gold color, right? So now I've got your different colors for each of the funnel layers. Also, if you didn't want to have your labels, you can right click and go to Format Data Labels. There so unfortunately, there wasn't really much that Microsoft did to give you some flexibility in the labels. You can either have the series name added to it or the category name added to it. Uh, you, can select, you can see I just select that one, and so that's the only one that it highlighted. But there's not really an option to have it offset to the left or off, offset it to the right or offset, uh, offset it to the left. And so that's one of the um, limitations of this. Also, as the lower funnel gets a little bit too small, it's not going to put that data label in there. So that's one also one of the other things that are kind of a limitation about the funnel. But if you don't have too much data, you can probably use the table to kind of highlight it at the bottom here. So what we can do is we have our chart area maybe if we wanted to also kind of include that label here because we wanted to probably copy and paste this and put it onto something else. Maybe we'd make our table here a little bit more noticeable give it some borders, give it a highlight, whoops, control Z to undo, highlight that a little bit. Let's give that cell style, I don't know, a good blue. And we'll take that control C to copy and then paste the picture, paste a picture here, a picture link and move it into our chart. And as we change our particular values here, 100, let's change that to 100. 
that changes, right? You see that gets a little bit smaller, and that changes here too. And now we can just kind of copy and paste this into a PowerPoint or a Word doc. And so that's one way we, we can do to kind of offset that limitation that we couldn't see that value in there. So this is the funnel chart feature in Office 365 Excel or Excel 2019. Uh, there's some limitations there, but that feature is available for you to play with. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.